So I'm inside the one that they call the cross mausoleum. And I'll show you in a moment why they call it the cross mausoleum. So here's one I didn't know I was going to find, little Jimmy Dickens. He died January 2nd, 2015. His wife is still living. They were married in 1971. Here's a little cowboy statue. Reba Rambo. They called her Dottie. She is right here next to him. So who knew? There's Jim Ed Brown up there. Bunch of them. The ladies seem to outlive the men every time. This is something I've never seen before. They put them in urns in these kind of like bookcases and they put mementos in there with them. Hmm. Never seen that. J.D. Sumner here, friends. J.D. Sumner and the Stamps Quartet backed up Elvis. JD is buried right here. A good friend of mine was one of the pallbearers, Bob Crawford. Knew JD very well. Also knew Jerry Reed. Lynn Anderson right here, died in July 2015. Tammy Rwinette right there, friends. Died in 1998. Very young woman when she passed. Her daughter still lives in Hendersonville, where I live. Gordon Stoker right here, friends. Gospel music singer. Wife still alive. Little Jimmy's Hall, right there. Otis Blackwell seems famous to me. It's say in 1932 to 2002. That's senior, that's junior down here. He passed also. So friends, I'm going to stop right here. I'm not going to move one ounce further until I pay an ode to Otis Blackwell. I knew there was a reason why that name sounded familiar to me, and the name should sound familiar to you, but I bet you, you don't know who he is. He wrote All Shook Up for Elvis, Don't Be Cruel, Fever, Return to Cinder, One Broken Heart for Sale. He wrote Great Balls of Fire and Breathless for Jerry Lee Lewis. Also, Let's Talk About Us. Hey Little Girl for D. Clark, Handyman for J Del Shannon and James Taylor. Wow, what a songwriter he was. So a very unassuming grave right here, friends, for someone that was an amazing, amazing musician, guitar player. Um, it says Jerry R., you see the R., Hubbard. If you did not know this, you would not know that that is Jerry Reed, friends. Amos Moses, Jerry Reed. Smokey and the Bandit, Jerry Reed. Right there. I wish they would have done a better job of, of showing who this is so people could pay their respects. But it is what it is, friends. That is Jerry Reed right there. Passed in 2008. Jerry Reed, friends. If you want to pay your respects, you come in that staircase right there. Come down to the first hall. He's right there. Tammy Wynette is right there. Little Jimmy Dickens is a little further down on the right-hand side. So, friends, I wanted to use the glory to illustrate to you where George Jones is as opposed to Tammy Wynette. So that's George's grave. Now we're going to fly straight over to the mausoleum. And in this... Uh, part of the video you really can't tell that this white building which is a four-story mausoleum is cross-shaped so as I get higher and higher and higher you'll be able to see that it is in fact shaped like a cross if you look to the right you'll see Nashville out in the distance we just passed it but I'll get back to it again I'll show you again but you see it's cross-shaped 
And the graves that I just showed you are all on the third floor on the right hand side. So if you went through this back door right here where this circle drive is and went to the right, they're on that right hall. And I'm going to pan around so you can see downtown Nashville. That is, in fact, downtown Nashville right there. They're that close to downtown. And then I'm going to pan down. Uh, that's the back door that I'm talking about going in. It is open up till 5 o'clock. If after 5, you have to go through the front if there's somebody there. But I'm also going to show you Doby Gray's grave and a, another couple of things that are there and even a trombone player in the tunnel as I'm leaving. Tunnel is on Thompson Lane heading back towards my house from this graveyard. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.